Hello, Alex here and this is Linux Realm. Today we are going to look at the latest release of Solas Linux version 4.5 codenamed Resilience, another non-arch rolling release distro that you might want to consider. Solas is an independently developed operating system designed for modern personal computing. With version 4.5, they have made some significant improvements and updates. It is developed for the x86-64 architecture only and is based on the Linux kernel. It comes in four desktop environments, packs the latest Linux kernel, is easy to use and has its own package manager with all the softwares you need just one click away. Let's explore it. Before we jump to the installation, there are two sets of install requirements. We have the minimum and the recommended. For the minimum, you need 10 GBs of disk space, 4 GBs of RAM, and a 64-bit quad-core processor with 2 GHz speed. Now for the best performance, the recommended requirements are 25 GBs of disk space and 8 GBs of RAM. If you only have 4 GBs of RAM, I would recommend you have a swap partition of equivalent size. Now to the installation process. It's straightforward and user-friendly. You can download the ISO from their official website, burn it to a USB drive and you're good to go. Or from my case, load the ISO on a virtual machine and proceed to the live environment. The Calamaris installer guides you through the process step by step. Solas 4.5 supports ext 4 and battery FS, so feel free to pick whichever one you prefer. Once installed, you are greeted with a clean, modern desktop. Solas comes with a budgy desktop environment by default, which is known for its simplicity and elegance. The layout is intuitive and you can customize it to your liking. The other three desktop environments are 1. GNOME, a simple, streamlined desktop for modern hardware. 2. KDE Plasma, a sophisticated desktop experience for tinkerers. And 3. XFCE, a lightweight desktop that is fast and user-friendly. Desktop environments like GNOME and KDE which have more features will use graphics card for 3D acceleration. Please note some other graphics cards may not be supported. Check Solas OS website for the latest information on that. Performance wise, this distro is impressive. It's lightweight and fast, making it a great choice for both older and newer hardware. Applications open quickly and multitasking is smooth. At standby, the RAM usage is barely 1 GB with or without swap. CPU usage is also low at 20% for my Core i3 processor. Obviously, as you launch more software apps, more system resources will be used. Solas now comes with Pipewire as the default media framework, replacing Pulse Audio and Jack. This means better performance and reliable Bluetooth audio. Solas ships with a good number of softwares that enable you to get going easily after installation. This include the File Manager, a Firefox Browser, video player, rhythm box music player, and Mozilla Thunderbird for emails. Additionally, Solas has its own software center for app management. It's easy to use and comes with a wide range of applications. Also, with the EOPKG package manager, you can install additional softwares from the command line. For example, you can run sudo EOPKG install package. To remove a package, run sudo eopkg remove package. You can also manage multiple packages at the same time. For example, sudo eopkg install package 1, package 2, package 3. In terms of security, Solas uses the latest Linux kernel version 6.6.9 and follows a rolling release model just like most Arch distros meaning you get the latest security updates and patches as soon as they are available. Also, once installed, you will be able to update your way to the latest releases as soon as they are available, eliminating the need for another clean installation and ensuring continuity of your work. In terms of support, Solas has a large, active and friendly community online. If you run into any issues or need help, you can turn to the forums and chat rooms. In conclusion, Solas 4.5 is a solid, 
user-friendly Linux distribution that's worth checking out whether you are new or a seasoned Linux user. It offers a great blend of performance, aesthetics, and out-of-the-box usability. Tell me what you think of it down in the comment section below. And that's it for today's review. If you found this video helpful, do like and subscribe to Linux Realm for more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.